Hi, and welcome to the Financial Modeling Tips by the Startup Station. Today, we're going to calculate accounts receivable. Accounts receivable arise when you extend credit to your customers. And so when that happens, um, there is a mismatch between the time that you sell the products and the time when you get cash for them. And need to account for the difference when you're considering your liquidity needs and your funding needs. So what we want to do is to determine accounts receivable outstanding at the end of year one for this example. If you're thinking about how to project accounts receivable for your business, what you need to know is the sales that generate those receivables, of course, for years one to five. You also need to determine the average length of time for collections, right? So this is the length of credit. And this will typically be based on whatever is acceptable in your industry. It can range anywhere from 30 days for smaller businesses and smaller projects to 180 days for a bigger projects and bigger companies. And finally, you need to also keep in mind that some of those customers will not pay you. So you need to estimate the percentage of accounts that uh, will not pay, okay? And for this example, we're going to assume that those accounts are gonna be written off immediately. Typically, you would allow for a longer period of time while you try to collect. Okay, let's model the accounts receivable. So here we have a situation where uh, we are uh, getting money from credit sales. It's 150,000 each month. Of course, it may be anything you want. Uh, we're gonna take two months to collect. We're only gonna collect 98% every time and we're going to write it off at the time of collection right so this is a simplified version of accounts receivable so let's first calculate what is the total amount of our outstanding credit is at the end of each month and it's going to be whatever we're starting with plus the new credit we extended minus whatever we've collected minus whatever we could not collect right and then uh, the balance is going to carry over to the next month Right, so the beginning balance is going to be whatever is the amount of credit we have outstanding from the previous month. We can also appease the ending accounts receivable. So now let's incorporate the collections and uh, the write-offs. Nothing is happening for the first two months. Then we are collecting from two months ago. We are collecting 98% of it. And we are not collecting the rest right so this is the amount of write-off uh, and then we can piece that forward so you can see that in this example when the write-off happens uh, at the time the uh, collection uh, is made right your um, accounts receivable will basically be whatever are the sales for the past two months or the um, length of your collection period and there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, please subscribe to our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.